Sergeant Chris Kim here for our weekly Crime Stopper segment. And Sergeant, before we begin, this has to be certainly a tough week for the Honolulu Police Department. As a member of the community, it's quite a heavy feeling. Lauren and I were talking about this. I can only imagine what it's like for police officers. How are you doing? It, it's, it's been a rough few days. Um, the mood at the station is definitely somber. Um, it's very tragic. You, know, you don't think anything like this would happen, mm. especially to your coworkers, people that you knew. Um, but at the same time, you know, as officers were sworn to protect and serve the community. So with that said, um, all the officers know, you know in, in a way to honor them is just to continue. Mm -hmm. You know, they were hardworking officers that cared about the community. And with that said, you know, as far as the rest of the police department, that's how we honor them is to continue to protect and serve the community that, you know, we were sworn to do. Well, uh, here on behalf of KH1, I just want to say thank you so much for your service and thank you for protecting us. Thank you. All right, let's talk about these cases. Mm -hmm. We got to get these criminals, guys. Let's get to it. Okay. First, a robbery at a 7 Eleven in Waianae. Yeah, so this incident happened at the Waianae 7 Eleven on Sunday, November 24, 2019, at about 2 45 a.m. This male entered the 7 Eleven in Waianae, demanded cigarettes, and then threatened to assault the clerk with a skateboard. He then fled with three packs of cigarettes. Uh, he's being described as an unknown male, approximately 5 feet 7 inches to 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing 130 pounds. So he did all of that for three packs of cigarettes. He should give up smoking, to tell you the truth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right, take a good look at your screen, guys. This happened November 24th, 2019. He robbed a 7-Eleven. He threatened a clerk with his skateboard. Secondly, let's talk about a robbery at a mini-mart. Yeah, so this incident happened on Friday, November 8th, 2019, at about 1.18 a.m., this male entered the Aloha Island Mini Mart store on North School Street, demanded money uh, from the clerk. Uh, he was then given an undis undisclosed amount of money and he fled uh, in an unknown direction. Uh, he's been described as an unknown male, approximately 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing 150 pounds, medium build, brown complexion. He was wearing a blue shirt, khaki shorts, black shoes, a blue beanie cap, and a blue bandana covering the bottom half of his face. So this was on North School Street. Video kind of grainy, but uh, what was the height? For the suspect again? Uh, he's being described as being approximately 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing 150 pounds, medium build. All right, take a good look at your screen, guys. This is that person we are trying to find. Lastly, let's talk about a hit and run, this time in Waipio. Yeah, so this incident just happened this past Sunday, January 19, 2020, at about 10 p.m. A pedestrian, which in fact was a 61 year old male, uh, was crossing the street on Kamehameha Highway and Kauka Boulevard when he was struck by a passing vehicle. The driver of the vehicle did not stop and fled the scene. The pedestrian was transported to an area hospital where he later succumbed to his injuries and pronouncement of his death was made. The witnesses described the vehicle as being as a red Nissan SUV. There may be possible damages to the front end and windshield area. All right, so guys, keep be on the lookout for a red Nissan SUV which damaged to the front of that vehicle. And I am told that the pedestrian was in a marked crosswalk, correct, Sergeant? Correct. All right, if anyone might know of anything that could help out, how can they reach out to you? They can call our hotline at 955-8300 or via our website at www.honolulucrimestoppers.org or via the P3 Tips app available on your smartphone or tablet. All three ways you mean 100% anonymous and you'd be eligible for a reward of $1,000. And in closing, I just want to say, you know, um, in light of uh, the situation or the incident that just happened this past Sunday, we just want to thank, you know, want to thank the community um, just for the overwhelming support. You know, we really feel the love, and it actually encourages the officers out there. And I know for myself, you know, I've had uh, words of encouragement from the other Crime Stoppers across the nation. You know, oh. I've had people from uh, Wichita, Texas, even Guam Crime Stoppers had reached out to us uh, to send um, the words of sympathy and encouragement. This is definitely a heavy situation. I mean, a stabbing attack, a deadly shooting, mm -hmm. arson, uh, burning down multiple homes. This is really just something that... Yes. You wouldn't think happens here in paradise. But again, as I had mentioned earlier, thank you so much to you and all the men and women in blue for protecting and serving our community. We really do appreciate thank it. Thank you. Lauren.